Geriner Yev Paregamner. My name is Aram Balyan. I am the Executive Director of the Armenian National Committee of America Eastern Region, and I also serve as Treasurer for the Armenian Youth Federation Eastern Region Central Executive. I am privileged to introduce today's AYF virtual programming to commemorate the 105th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. The AYF represents the future of one of the oldest and most vibrant communities in the Armenian diaspora created by this genocide. And we are proud of our successes. We are strong and we are passionate. We are united by our culture and our heritage, and we will never stop in the struggle for our cause, justice for the Armenian genocide and a united, free and independent Armenia. Today, the AYF Eastern Region will be presenting a series of three videos that represent different aspects of this struggle, made from videos from both junior and senior members from across the region. First, we demand that the current administration recognizes the Armenian Genocide, ending the Turkish gag rule over our foreign policy. Next, we highlight the ongoing Turkish campaigns of ethnic cleansing, support of extremist groups, and persecution of minorities, dissidents, and journalists. Finally, you will hear from our young members the story of our people's survival. Gank, Bidilinenk, Uter Shadanank. I am proud of the efforts our chapters and members, as well as our central HITAD and PR councils, have shown in putting this content together for the community. The AYF is honored to be part of this historic effort and looks forward to the day when we can once again come together in person to commemorate our ancestors, the one and a half million saints and martyrs who were killed at the hands of the Ottoman Turks. Our ancestors crossed the deserts of Derzor, survived deportation, slaughter, and the horrors of genocide so that we may live in peace and prosperity today. It is their lives we commemorate, their memory that we cherish, and their sacrifice we will never forget. This virtual event, which brings us together in these difficult times, demonstrates our community's resolve in the face of uncertainty and fear. A resolve shown by the first responders and essential workers who are sacrificing every day so that we may be safe during this pandemic. Please know that AYF appreciates everything you are doing. Thank you and thank you to all for joining us today. April 24, 2020 marks the 105th commemoration of the Armenian Genocide. Last October, AYF Ungeris from across the region put their lives on pause and headed to the nation's capital to advocate for recognition of the Armenian Genocide. On October 29, 2019, the United States House of Representatives adopted House Resolution 296 and affirmed the United States' record on the Armenian Genocide and rejected future efforts to associate the U.S. government with the denial of this crime. This victory is a stepping stone in furthering the Armenian cause. The Armenian National Committee of America and the Armenian Youth Federation joined efforts to secure Senate recognition. On December 12, 2019, the United States Senate unanimously voted to pass SR 150 that would affirm the recognition of the Armenian Genocide. This victory sent a strong message that a foreign government cannot control the United States Congress. The Armenian Youth Federation thanks the United States House of Representatives and the United States Senate for standing on the right side of history. Today, we are able to commemorate these atrocities knowing that our fight has just begun. President Trump, the AYF, and our greater Armenian community calls on you to join your colleagues in the legislative branch in standing on the right side of justice and recognizing the atrocities committed by the Ottoman Empire in 1915 as what it was, a genocide. During President Erdogan's visit to Washington, D.C. in May of 2017, he ordered his security to brutally attack peaceful protesters outside of the Turkish ambassador's office. In 2016, ahead of his speech at Brookings Institute in Washington, D.C., 
Erdogan's security team clashed with protesters and physically removed journalists from the venue. Turkey continues to undermine both U.S. interests and regional stability through its complicity with ISIS and its escalating anti-Kurdish aggression. Turkey's bombing campaigns against the Kurds in northern Syria and Iraq undermines the national security of the United States. They are effectively eliminating ISIS's only strong opposition on the ground. Turkey is once again using larger world events to cloak its policy of ethnic cleansing. It used World War I to commit the genocide of the Armenians, now it is using civil war in Iraq and Syria to destroy its own Kurdish community and eliminate a true expression of democracy in Turkey. Although the U.S. Congress officially recognized the Armenian Genocide in 2019, our high tide activities must continue in order to hold Turkey accountable for their reckless conduct and their violent actions. We must work to prohibit the sale of weapons to Turkey and call on the U.S. to remove nuclear weapons stationed in Turkey. The AYF pressures Turkey to stop obstructing justice for the Armenian Genocide, end its occupation of Cyprus, lift its blockade of Armenia, seize its persecution of Christians, return stolen church properties, and end its persecution of Kurds, pro-democracy activists, and dissidents. The AYF calls on the U.S. to restore balance to their relationship with Turkey by holding Turkey accountable for its increasingly anti-American orientation and openly anti-Armenian actions. had a mission to erase the Armenian nation altogether. Today, we are still here. We failed. We lived. We lived far from our fatherland, but we lived with our language. We lived with our dances and songs. We lived with our schools and churches. Everywhere we lived, we lived Armenian. We survived and thrived. We became teachers, musicians, actors, inventors, doctors, world leaders, chess grandmasters. When we marched, we marched proudly, waving our holy flag. When we danced, we moved mountains. When we sang, the world heard us. We lived far from our fatherland, but our fatherland lived in us. Justice for the Armenian Genocide. Justice for the Genocide des Armenians. Justice for the Armenian Genocide. Thank you again for joining us this afternoon. Your support means everything to the AYF and ANCA Eastern Region. The AYF will be posting more content over the course of the day, and I look forward to your participation tomorrow at 2 p.m. for the ANCA Eastern Region's final segment of this virtual commemoration. With exceptional videos compiled from our historical archives, never before seen footage of Western Armenia, and a call to action from our activists and community members.